Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Takis Nacho Explosion Rolled Tortilla Chips. I had to read that off the notes. I've never had these before. But first, <laughs> I want to wish a couple friends happy birthdays. Jerry W. from Chicago, Illinois, USA. Happy birthday to you. And Chris M. here in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. Happy birthday to you. Uh, Chris is one of my best buddies. We hang out pretty much every Tuesday, give or take. We try to hang out once a week. He's been a really good friend for a lot of years. I want to wish you a happy birthday, Chris. Uh, I think we're going to be hanging out a little bit later, but I know he's doing some family stuff first, which is awesome. Great way to spend a birthday. Um, so, happy Friday, everyone. It's Friday. Um, look, Maggie took the whole couch again. I even put that pillow, like, over that half of the couch to try to save my spot, and it worked, but she just used that pillow as a headrest, and then when I moved it to make room for my spot, she stretched out even further, so she's smart. She's been doing this for 11 and a half years. Yeah, and she knows I'm talking about her, too. So anyways, let's get to these. I've never had Takis before. It says they're more intense or more plus intense. <laughs> I think plus is probably the, the French. But anyways, these are hot, zesty, nacho, rolled tortilla chips. And I actually really like the artwork on here. It's fun. It's eye-catching. It looks very cheesy. I see some hot peppers in there. They look like jalapenos. And um, little rolled tortilla chips. Looks kind of like, uh, I think they're called taquitos. Maybe that, I guess that, yeah, ta takis, taquitos. Yeah, it's, it's short for taquitos. I just realized that just now. So, <laughs> face the intensity, it says on the back. Ignite your taste buds with big nacho flavor and a burst of sizzling spice. Try our other intense flavors. Uh, fuego and chili picante. Oh no, it's hard to read. There's small red lettering. Dragon sweet chili, that's what it is. Okay, but anyways, I am not going to read all of these ingredients. There's quite a list here. Um, I'm looking for hot pepper. Artificial flavor. Black pepper. Sunset yellow. FCF. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you the ingredients list in case you feel like pausing. Reading through them. I'll show you two. Show them to you one more time here. Um, let's try them out. Let's open them up, I guess, first. See what it looks like in there. I've actually kind of not avoided these, but I've never bothered to check them out. And then I heard from a couple of friends. They said, no, they're actually pretty good. So I'm going to try them out. Look at that. They look like noodles, kind of. They look like those, um, I forget what noodle that is, but it looks like that kind of noodle. Let's grab one out of there. Are they all supposed to be full of crumbles? This one's full of... Full of crumbles. There we go. That's funny. I can actually hear a live stream in the other room. I thought I muted it. Um, I'll get to that in a second, actually. Oh, we we're losing some crumbles. I lost some crumbles on my hand there. See, I caught it. <laughs> Let's try this out. Taki's Nacho Explosion flavored rolled tortilla chips. Eat my shorts. Hmm. Not bad. So they, I think they're just full of crumbs from bouncing around in the bag there. I don't think they're supposed to, I don't think they intentionally fill them with crumbs. Let's try another one. This one's quite a bit darker colored. You can see it's quite coated in seasoning. It's got some nice char marks on it, I guess, from the, the cooking process. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. These are good. Good cheese flavor. Onion and garlic, I'm gonna say. Tomato, I suppose, yep. It tastes like a nacho chip. Surprisingly, I am detecting a little bit of heat on this. Not much, of course. It's making my mouth water. Just a very slight tickle. I think I would give it a 1 out of 10. Like, just barely. I'm, I'm impressed. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be a straight up zero, like a cheese flavored chip, but it's a, I'll call it a one out of 10. Very slight tickle. It just, just registers there. Um, flavor. Let's give it a flavor rating. I'm going to eat another one first. <laughs> These are really good. I'd give that an 8 out of 10 for flavor rating. And I'm gonna give it a crunch rating too. I'm very impressed with the crunch of these. I guess it's because they're rolled up like that. Maybe it's a thicker chip. No, it looks like about the average thickness of a tortilla chip, but I guess just because it's rolled up, there's more of it there. It's got a great crunch. I'm gonna give that like a 9 out of 10 for a crunch rating. My heat rating, I did give it a 1 out of 10. Habanero. If you're at habanero level, you might call this a two or a three, maybe somewhere in there. If you're new to jalapeno, you could call a few of those like a five out of 10. I wouldn't be surprised. Somebody that's sensitive to spice. Would I recommend Taki's Nacho Explosion Rolled Tortilla Chips? Yeah, give them a try. If you haven't tried them, if you've seen them around and you've wondered if they're any good, I'd say give them a try. They're they're good. They're tasty. They have a good a good flavor to them, a good s spice index for what they are, for what they have listed on the back. I'm not sure. Oh, paprika extract. I see it now. That's for sure where that's coming from. Yeast extract. Interesting. Now, um, would I restock these? I totally would. Yeah, I totally would restock these. These are tasty. Now, I'm gonna add some real heat to these. You know I'm going to. Um, I've got here some Late for Scoville tincture. A collaboration between Late for Work and the Scoville unit. I've given it a few shaky shakes beforehand even, but um, I guess I can, I have a plate here because I wasn't sure what to expect, but I think I can just drop tincture right into the little hollow center of the rolled tortilla chip. Let's do that. Let's do that. Actually, I am going to do it on the plate. I am going to put a few on the plate just so that I can do a few at the same time. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. That one's a double. Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> okay. Spread them out on the plate ahead of time there. So if you haven't checked out Mayhem and Miracles, make sure you check out Deb's channel. I was actually just about to record this review and then I saw that they were going live. So I hopped over there, hung out for a few minutes and they were just giving shout outs to all the good people in the chat and telling people to come over here and check out our videos after the live stream. So that's pretty cool. I really appreciate that, Deb. Make sure you all go head over to Mayhem and Miracles if you haven't already. Usually live streams, good places to hang out, meet a lot of people from all over the world, different types of YouTube channels. Oh, this is starting to hurt my finger. <laughs> there we go. We lost a couple of drops there because I'm kind of starting to panic because this is really, <laughs> it hurts my finger, okay? <laughs> it doesn't even look that bad. <laughs> I've been off work for a while, okay? I don't have very tough hands. Let's try this. 
um, Taki's Nacho Explosion with late for Scoville pepper tincture. Keep my shorts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's actually two stuck together, but counts as one. Mm -hmm. For my fingers. I washed my hands before I started the review. I'm not ashamed of that. Uh -huh. I guess we'll have a... No, first... Let's talk about the heat now. That definitely dialed up the heat. Um, probably puts me to a 4 out of 10 now. Definitely increased my temperature. <laughs> as far as the flavor... Yeah, I'd say it increased the flavor too. Um, Add a good pepper flavor and just the delicious spicy flavor of that tincture. I've really liked the flavor of that tincture. This tincture. I have to show it to you. We need a thumbnail. <laughs> well, we definitely don't want to block Maggie though. How can we do this? It's important. There's those. Right? Right? There we go. Something like that. And then that, like, right there, maybe? Something like that? Yeah, that should work. Should be able to get a thumbnail somewhere in there. Yeah, it's important to have a good thumbnail. It's important to have Maggie in that thumbnail. It's her channel. <laughs> Having said that, I'm gonna step back and have a little hangout with her. Hey, Maggie. Hey. Are you so sleepy? Hey. It's cold out there today. My voice went funny there. I had like a air bubble in my throat. Um, yeah, it's chilly out there today. It's sunny, but it is bitter cold. It's probably like, I don't know, minus 15 Celsius, which isn't that cold, but it was warm for a few days. I kind of got used to that again. Now it's chilly. I was really hoping to film a video outside there, but I just wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah. Um... I also want to mention today, actually in like an hour, so pretty soon, Chili Dean's going to be going live. Uh, Chili Dean Reacts is the channel and uh, doing their first challenge live. So I'm going to share a link at the end screen here for Dean's channel. Make sure you hop over there, give them a subscribe and tune in at I think 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, but I'll leave, yeah, I'll leave links down below and the end screen for sure. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here, get it uploading, and work on my thumbnail. <laughs> Hope you'll have an awesome day today. I love you all very much. We will hang out again soon, I promise. Also, make sure you go check out Mayhem and Miracles. I'm going to pop back in there. I hear she's still alive, and uh, go see what everybody's up to in there. In this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, Chili Dean Reacts. Give them a subscribe and hop over there in about an hour or so. Up here, some videos for you to enjoy. Have a great day. We'll hang out soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.